Well, uh, hello YouTube. So where are we today? Yes, Harley Davidson is full in Sapsborg, Norway. So after I tried the after I tried the Fat Boy, now I will try the Fat Bob. So same chassis, the soft tail. And what is interesting for to to see is that uh, you can see with the old soft tail chassis, the back uh, uh, spring, it was underneath, so you could access it from underneath. And now with the new chassis, so actually the spring is under the seat and uh, they managed to make it 35% uh, more rigid than the old uh, frame and as well uh, lighter I don't gonna go in detail with all the specification if you are more interested it's easier to go and uh, check on the Harley, uh, Harley Davidson website uh, what I do usually when I review a motorcycle I just ride it and give you my, uh, my feelings uh, I will talk as well about the difference between because i just rode the fat boy before and now we're gonna try the fat bob F the first thing i see it's it's already slimmer the tank is slimmer the seat is i'm sure that comfortable you don't have the plate under the controls the light is square or rectangular shape and what i liked with the, the new model is they introduced lead and uh, I have LED on my own uh, motorcycle and since I put uh, LED light, I mean, I don't have any problem being seen. So you have bonus and bonus, you, you've you been seen with the LED light and people hear you with those uh, exhausts. So I'm quite thrilled to uh, to start running it because I never heard it uh, before. As you see as well, uh, something quite nice, you can uh, regulate the damper up to 280 uh, kilos which means either you uh, weigh 200 uh, kilo you can ride it but it's usually thought that you have a passenger back since you have the passenger peg uh, design wise what i like is uh, you have uh, the logo here which which is quite discreet on the other side you have the harley davidson written on the tank but i mean when you ride it you don't see, people don't see it so it's uh, they only see the 114 cubic inch which is about 1868 uh, centimeter cube what else yes the cut fender uh, in europe we're not allowed to have um, we have to have a light on the license plate so i know there are kits coming uh, on but since then you have that if there is a negative comment about that is that ugly thing metal uh, bar but i mean I know they have to follow regulation and do something but I know as well that there there are things coming out where it's possible to put the license plate uh, back there. So let's start the baby. Oh nice sitting uh, position. I feel it, I feel it a little bit uh there is a difference as a short rider my sitting position is quite uh, forward i feel as well that uh, it's uh, it's extremely nimble like the fat boy but by sitting uh, forward i have uh, more I have easy access on the control as well as you can uh, as you can see i'm sitting normally and i have a uh, full access to the control the mirrors are okay what is nice as well is you, you can uh, regulate the height of the bar in case you, you you feel that it's too low or too high it's quite different it's amazing uh, the, the difference between the fat boy and the fat bob in uh, driving uh, driving style it's it's uh, it's quite amazing as you see i'm not uh, i'm not driving uh, hard with it because we just had a rain even the brake easy access and if you're a little bit taller you have a uh, space to uh, sit a little bit more back backwards but if it's light it feels uh, extremely light I feel that the fork is quite it's, it's more straight than on the fat uh, on the fat boy on the fat boy I felt that the steering was quite far away but this one has direct reaction when you steer I feel as well that the handlebar a little bit uh, narrower that makes uh, that gives another little more sportier style of uh, riding I mean between the two when I if I compare the fat boy the fat boy is more the Cadillac of the fat and the fat boy the fat bob is uh, i would say a little bit more sporty a little bit more aggressive uh, 
but this is nimble with the big tire in front i mean it, it, it wants to turn alone in the uh, in in the roundabout is uh, is amazing i mean the the impression when you try both of them the fat boy and the fat bob you'll see the difference in uh, riding uh, riding style the torque as well is a little bit different on the fat boy is more lean uh, you, you can uh, i mean i would say that the fat the fat uh, bob is more aggressive i think it's uh, lighter as well but when i turn the throttle i i get a direct response with the fat bob you can get it as well but i mean you you can ride uh, this one this one i feel that it, it pulls it's it's not a bad sign though it's different uh, it's a different type of uh, of riding but i like it a lot as well i mean it's quite it's nimble it's narrow and i see the sitting position is quite uh, the same it's amazing to have two motorcycles the fat boy and the fat bob they have actually the same sitting position but handling is is uh, different i mean this one i could have it to uh, ride at work i could have it as a everyday motorcycle no problem at all I thought the fat bob was uh, the fat boy was uh, nimble, but uh, I think that they managed to uh, overcome that with uh, the, the fat bob. I really enjoy as well the exhaust note. It it rumbles. It rumbles in a in a good way. It's not too too tough for your hearing, and I don't think it's too 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 low. We don't hear. If I compare it with my uh, 883, I hear more the engine than uh, than the exhaust. Here the engine is quite. I mean, as well with the. Uh, Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee engine, they managed to do something uh, quite amazing and the fat wheel in front, it gives you that uh, that comfort, it's quite uh, it's quite amazing second gear, I nearly at the, at the stop and again, there is not much negative to say uh, about that uh, motorcycle except the uh, license plate, uh, I don't know how the license plate rack uh, there is as well something else, if you see high, uh, in, if you see in front of me it doesn't show you the kilometer kilometers is uh, it's uh, digital and i mean i like to see how fast i'm uh, riding but i mean it's it's maybe the concept and the style they want to uh, they want to give to that bike but uh, i would like to have uh, i would like to see how fast i'm uh, riding without having to look that down to find out uh, the numbers but instead you have the rpm here which is as well uh, really nice to, to have but i mean after a while when you know the motorcycle you know which uh, i mean i don't i don't check the rpm i mean it's something uh, you, you get it or not i mean when you drive uh, when you ride a little bit you get the feeling with the motorcycle and you know how uh, when you have to change your gear it's amazing that amount of torque and it's so easy to control so the feeling is definitely more sporty than uh, than the fat boy fat boy is more cruising uh, cruising style and the fat bob is more sports uh, sport uh, i feel more on a sport bike uh, with a fat bob sports bike with an engine car So here we are again, Harley Davidson. Just a last look on the motorcycle after rain. So it's a little bit dirty now. Sorry, sorry guys, but uh, what a machine. Come and try it. That's the only. That's the only way. I mean, if you want to make your own impression on a motorcycle, is to try it. And I mean, I tried both Fat Boy, Fat Bob, and uh, I'm amazed. Both have uh, their own character, their own design, and both are fantastic uh, motorcycle. So come and try. It. <laughs>